Rama Bibi was a former judge of the Supreme Court of India. Appointed to the Apex Court in 1989, she became the first judge to be the part of the Supreme Court of India and the first Muslim woman to, uh, to be appointed to any of the higher judicial country. A great fiat. Today on the occasion of the 75th Independence Day celebration, Amrit Mahotsav, I thought, who can be better to be talked about in my series of talk of the Indian leading woman in the renaissance of my country. Born on 13th April 1927 at Patnamathitta, Travancore, Kerala, she did her initial schooling in a Catholic, Catholicate high school and graduation in law from Trivantapuram. In 1950, Fatma became the first woman to tap the Bar Council of Indian uh, exams. The same year, in November, she enrolled herself as an advocate and started her career in Kerala's lower judiciary. And she practiced for a pretty long time, for almost more than three decades, she served as a Munsif in a Kerala subordinate judicial service as the chief judicial magistrate, as the district session judge and also this judicial member of the income tax appellate tribunal before being ultimately elevated to the Kerala High Court judge in 1983. After 29th uh, uh, April 20, uh, on 29th April 1989 she was appointed a judge in the Supreme Court of India a watershed moment in the history of the women of my country the first woman to be appointed to any higher judiciary she became the first woman judge of a Supreme Court of an any Asian nation after retirement, she served as a member of the National Human Rights Commission before becoming the governor of the Tamil Nadu, finishing her tenure in 2001. There has been only eight female judges of the Supreme Court of India in the history of my country or till date since 1950. And none of the 46 appointed chief justices has been a woman. Only 73 judges out of 670 serving in various high courts are women. Just about 11% of the population. Fatima Bibi continues to be a role model for every woman aspiring to enter the historically male dominated space of the courtrooms in rising 30 women who changed India the author Kiran Mandral she includes as one of the includes Fatima Bibi as one of the uh, uh, leading women and she talks about how important Fatima Bibi was in India she was very important, she says, in India's feminist struggle, uh, becoming a role model for other women. For all her achievements, my friends, she remains an engaging a woman till date, energizing the environment, but still shunning the spotlight and living a quiet life in her hometown post-retirement. You will look at her photograph. It shows a determined expression. Her, her, her head firmly covered with her sari as a pallu. 
the spectacle the spectacle uh, lodged on her uh, bridge bridge of her nose and reflects a matter of fact demeanor a confident worth emulating lady she is now 95 may god bless her a very healthy and happy life whatever it is but certainly she has put a indelible mark in the history of the woman in my country thank you very much